Good morning. It is another wonderful day here in uh, Delhi. It's weighing it down. <laughs> we are just heading to the tourist information officer place to go get some train tickets and bus tickets and stuff booked. Uh, and then we've got a few sites we want to see and we are all heading off to other places later on today. Um, there's a few of us heading off to Agra. And Chris, you're staying here, aren't you? I am. Two more nights. Two, two more, more nights. nights. Got a bit more of Delhi to see. It is grim out though, look at this. We've uh, every time I go into one of these tourist information offices, and everyone warns about this, you feel like you're being ripped off. Like they're just they there's some very angry salesmen in there, and yeah, we didn't like it. So we just bought the cat, the mini cab, to Agra because we had to get there today, and there's apparently no trains left, which I kind of half believe. So we've got ourselves a mini cab booked. We are now at how do you say this place? Humanian's tomb. tomb. Um, if I find any info, I'll give it to you, but I mean the place is spectacular despite the torrential downpours. It already looks incredible. This is so much more peaceful than like anywhere else we've been so far. It's gorgeous. A couple of hopefully accurate little factoids for you here. Firstly, this is apparently the first of these like um, structures, these mausoleums built by the Mughals that was in this sort of like geometric design. Also, apparently there's over 160 of sort of like the Mughal ancestors buried underneath this mausoleum. So I don't know if we can get down into the crypts or anything, but let's go look. So that's the tomb of Hermione's. I'm saying that so wrong and I'm so sorry. That's the tomb of his barber and his barber's wife. It's pretty good, isn't it? For like a hairdresser to get to that level, fair play. We're about to go into Issa Khan's garden tomb, which actually predates that one by another 20 years. It looks really impressive actually. I don't think they've done the restoration in this place they had in that one. But it's still pretty stunning.
come to Delhi, it's, um, especially if you come on a dry day. Today is a little bit damp, it's getting pretty muggy now. Um, but yeah, really, really stunning. Beautiful place, amazing atmosphere. Um, it's really nice. We are on our way now to the... You're flirting. Lodi Gardens? Lodi, Lodi Gardens? Maybe. We don't really know. Uh, we're going there though, and then we are heading back to Pieces for lunch. This is Peace. My dad is 55 and you look younger. Yeah. His wife is cooking us up oh, a you lunch. Are younger. I'm excited about this. Yeah. I'm trying to drink this <laughs> without touching the rim. Can you show lips. us how good you are? Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I touched it. You definitely touched that. <laughs> <laughs> We are now in the Lodi Gardens. It's quite nice. Chris reckons it's um, date place, so we're just having a little four-way date as we walk around. Mm. Double date. Double date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shotgun James. <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> this is really impressive. I feel like it's Jungle Book territory. Have a look at that. King Louis lives in there. Who be do? I wanna be like you. <laughs> Lodi Gardens, probably the best free thing in Delhi so far. Yeah. Yeah. We've not done anything free in Delhi so far, so definitely the best free thing. Very much recommended. Hello. Hello. Shoes off. Shoes off. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. How was it? It was one of the most delicious rice and curry meals I've yeah? ever had. In my 24 years of eating curry, <laughs> it was probably the best, if not one of the best. Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Thank you very much, Thank please. You. Thank you. Hey, guys. Hello. I'm going to agree with Chris. That was absolutely <laughs> it was stunning. Amazing. That was so good. Yeah. Best Very thing good. I've done in Delhi. Best yeah. thing. Yeah. Definitely Easy the best thing. So we finished lunch and it was amazing. Delicious. Genuinely, it was. It was just one of the most lovely experiences I've ever had. Peace is just one of the most lovely families. So welcoming, so hospitable. I was a bit... Quite funny. Quite yeah. funny as well. Really funny. funny. Really funny. Really nice. I was a bit in awe of the whole experience, to be honest. Um, just to see how other people live, is, it's, it's quite overwhelming sometimes. And it, was, it was really, really nice to be able to see life through their eyes and hear about his children going to school and what they're learning and what their dreams are and the sport they love. Really, really wonderful. Fantastic experience. And we've said goodbye to peace now. Uh, we've jumped in the car that the company here has given us and we are... Hello? <laughs> YouTube. Is it no. a reporter? <laughs> no, it's not. Nah, he's a blogger. <laughs> I make videos on YouTube. Uh, so we've jumped in the car um, and we are just going to pop back to the hostel, grab our bags and stuff, and then we're heading off to Agra. Should be exciting.
currently out and about exploring Agra by night in, if I'm honest, it's probably one of the most scary car rides I've ever had. This guy's got the dirty windscreen and apparently he's a like a, a news reporter, um, an Indian news reporter. It's, it's going to be cool though. Hopefully we're going to go see the Red Fort, like lit up at night, uh, maybe get a bit of food. I don't know, we're just going to have a bit of a bimble around the car and uh, see what we can see. <laughs> Go on, go on. Here's my name. I would have done it as random. I would have done it. Hi. Uh, my name is Mohit. And I'm driving them around. Yeah. Yeah. We're seeing all the sights. It's good. I'm enjoying it.